Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm doing a custom paint job on the Nintendo Labo Piano. The Nintendo Labo was just released recently. You can build things out of a cardboard and use sensors that interact with your Nintendo Switch and it just carries out different functions. And for example, this one is a piano that plays music, even though it's made of cardboard. So I got the variety kit, which includes several different small builds that you can make. There's also a separate one where you can build this robot thingy. It's almost kind of like a suit you wear and you can play this little robot game but I'm not really interested in that one I was interested in this variety kit because there are several different things in it and I'm mostly interested in customizing them not so much playing with them for the piano I wanted to make it Legend of Zelda themed I want to make the house Animal Crossing themed and I want to make the RC cars Mario Kart themed so we'll see if I get around to actually painting all those especially after how long this one took me but this was definitely the most ambitious of all of them but oh it took forever for me to assemble and paint this. The assembly process is pretty fun, especially when you're live streaming and you have people to talk to. On the Switch screen, it guides you through the steps and you can hold down a button to play the video forward and you can drag it forward even further to fast forward the video. You can go back, it's really neat. You can even rotate the camera, different angles to get a better look at what you're building. It's pretty neat. Really all you have to do is fold the creases and then snap all the pieces together. It's, it's really neat and pretty fun. The cardboard is pretty thin, but once everything's assembled, it's actually pretty sturdy. I wanted to paint mine, but I was scared that the cardboard would warp. I did a test on some regular cardboard before buying this, but it was thicker than this and it didn't warp. And then I opened this up. I'm like, oh, this is way thinner. This is totally different, but it was still fine. What I did was I put some gesso down though as my first layer. It's just to prime the cardboard and then the acrylic paint will sit on top of it and it'll just maybe prevent the cardboard from getting more soggy, I don't know. <laughs> Another thing about priming it is it can just make your colors go down nicer. For example, if you're gonna color a light color and you have a dark base, it's kind of hard, you have to use lots of layers. And so having that white base can be helpful. But for me, <laughs> I kind of negated that because then I then painted the entire thing in a dark navy blue because I wanted that to be the main color of the piano. So any light colors I painted on top, I did have to use quite a few layers. I used a white charcoal pencil to sketch out the characters because it shows up nicely on the dark paint, plus you can actually just rub it off. When I first decided to do this, I thought I would spend maybe two days on it. I thought, oh, I can work on it Monday and Tuesday, upload it as a Wednesday video. Oh my, was I wrong. Holy crap. These paintings take so long because one, they're paintings. I'm slower at doing paintings than I am at doing Copic art because I feel like there's a lot of fixing and there's a lot of paint mixing that kind of rhymes. <laughs> but yeah, I just, it just takes a long time to do, especially with so many characters. I got really ambitious. I was like, okay, I want Link on the front. I want Zelda on top. Then I want the four champions on the back. Plus I want all these other details and I'm going to paint a weapon on every single one of the keys. <laughs> like I just got real crazy with it but it was so worth it. I worked on this every day this week, Monday through Thursday, so four days, but they were four full days. Like I would start my live stream at 10 a.m. and I would stop working on these things around 9 or 10 p.m. every day. And so it was, it was a lot. It was very time intensive, but so worth it. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, why didn't I paint this before assembling it? Because it would be much easier to paint the cardboard when it's flat instead of when it's a 3D object. And while that's true, I didn't fully understand what pieces would become what parts of the cardboard, like what would be visible because I've never built this piano before. Plus, I was concerned about the warping of the cardboard because when it's all assembled, and it's attached around different sides of itself, it's held into place. Whereas if it's just a flat piece, it's more prone to curving and warping. So those were the two reasons why I assembled it first and then painted it. The flower next to Zelda is a silent princess because I thought it was fitting since she's a princess. I definitely put more time and effort into Link and Zelda than I did for the champions because they're the ones you see the most. The champions are along the sides and back of the box, so I didn't want to put in as much time. Plus, after spending so much time on the first two, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna put this much effort into the final four because I'll never get this thing done. I just wanted Link and Zelda to look all purdy. You'll notice there are these weird glyphs on the box and that is actually the language in Breath of the Wild and it perfectly translates to a regular alphabet. And so I actually wrote out messages on the box. So this top part with Zelda says, 
courage need not be remembered for it is never forgotten. It's part of a quote that she says in Breath of the Wild. And then underneath Link, it says the Hero of Time. And then the tray for the piano keys says Legend of Zelda. Then I got started on the champions. They were a little tricky. They're not perfect. They could be better. For Mifa, I used her promotional image. It's not from a screenshot from the game, but it's that promo art that they put out for all the different characters where it has the blue swatches in the background. I used that for Mifa's. And so, I don't know. She's probably my least favorite of all the champions just in terms of capturing her likeness. For Rivali and Daruk, I just used a screenshot from the game as reference. And then for Urbosa, I again used her promotional art as reference. Urbosa was probably the trickiest because she has so many little details and I was painting over different chunks of the box. There's a little slider you'll notice that's a pitch shifter and it was hard getting over that plus other little flaps on the side, but it worked out and I realized I drew her hair too low, therefore there was too much of her back showing. I had to make some adjustments, plus she was holding a weapon in the picture, but I didn't want her holding a weapon, so her other, her back arms kind of bent forward instead of being flung backwards. So I don't know, it was a bit of a struggle <laughs> and I had to make some adjustments as I went, but in the end, I'm still happy with how she looks. I feel like her face is good, which I like, whereas with Mifa, her face is what bothers me. On the back of the piano, there's this thing that sticks out and that's actually where you're supposed to insert the Joy-Con. And initially I was gonna make it look like the Sheikah Slate, but I decided against that since I drew the eye that's on the Sheikah Slate on the front with Link and I was just kind of getting fed up with painting this thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it solid gold, which I think will look really good. And then I'll put some writing on the top. And if you're wondering, it says Joy-Con because that's where you put the Joy-Con. <laughs> There are four knobs and I thought it'd be neat to paint on four of the rune symbols. So in the game, there are these abilities you can use like magnesis, which lets you pick up metal objects. There's stasis, which lets you freeze moving objects, things like that. And so that's what I put on the tops of these. So there was the magnesis, the stasis, which is the lock. And then there is a bomb and cryonis, which is the ability to create blocks of ice in water. Technically there are two bomb runes, the circular one, which I drew, and then a square one. I I did not include the square one just because I already did one bomb. I had to, I had to trim the fat somewhere because I only had four knobs. I also left out the camera rune and the motorcycle rune and the amiibo rune, I guess, technically. <laughs> There's also this little square button and I decided to draw a spirit orb on that one. Here I'm creating a Triforce that I wanna set on top of the piano because there are inserts you can get that you stick into the slot on the top of the piano and they're sold separately. And I thought it'd be cool to have something sitting up top there and why not the Triforce? So I used the box from some granola bars, painted it with gesso and cut out the Triforce shape and then painted it gold. On the white piano keys, which are now black, it's a little confusing because the black keys are no longer black and the white keys are now black, but I still call these the white keys. <laughs> On the white keys, I decided to make weapons because it just felt like it fit nicely. They're long and narrow. And so I planned the weapons according to the width of the key because some were wider than others. There were eight white keys, so the weapons I drew were the Great Frost Blade, the Gerudo Spear, the Royal Claymore, the Great Flame Blade, the Master Sword, the Double Axe, the Great Thunder Blade, and the Guardian Sword Plus Plus. Before I started painting this, I thought it'd be neat to draw little map icons on the black keys, but they're just pretty narrow and I thought, nah, it'll look too busy. I thought it'd look nicer if I just painted them solid gold. I'm not gonna lie, at one point, I thought I would also not paint the white keys either. I was just like, man, eight weapons, this is gonna take so long. But I'm so glad I did it because it really adds a cool look to the piano. It just makes the finished product that much better. I 
left my desk for a little bit and my cat came over and sat on the Triforce while the paint was wet. Luckily, she did not sit in that big glob of gold paint, although I smudged it with my paintbrush when I got back, but <laughs> all was well. She actually did muck up the front piece that has Link on it earlier and ooh, that was sad. I had to do a lot of fixing. The last thing I did was varnish any remaining pieces that had not yet been varnished and then I assembled it. I use a satin varnish, which is like a semi-gloss and it's just meant to go over acrylic paint and it just helps prevent it from chipping, just protects the artwork. It also protects it from UV light, which will prevent it from fading over time. I mostly used artist quality paints, but I did dig into my little cheap bin of dollar store paints for some of the colors. The thing with painting all these layers is that the tabs thicken and so sometimes you can't fit the tabs through. So I actually had to snip off the little edges of these tabs on this front piece and I actually had to do the same for the knobs that have the runes on them because I couldn't get the top pieces back on so I had to snip off the little overhanging hooks so that I could actually fit it through and it was still a tight fit they're very secure but I had to trim it down a bit <laughs> but man putting it together was so satisfying after putting in all that time I invested about 40 hours into this and that does not include the breaks that I took to eat and things like that that's just like actively painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am really happy with how this turned out. I just, oh my god, I just think it looks nice and it, like I said, it's just satisfying after putting that much time into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will actually show the piano in action at the end of the video, show you the functions of the knobs and play a couple little Zelda melodies for ya. Just super basic stuff. I don't really know how to play the piano, so <laughs> it's nothing fancy. <laughs>If you know anyone who is a Nintendo fan or even specifically a Legend of Zelda fan or they just like watching people paint things, please share this video with them. I put a lot of time into it and so I'm like, people, please watch it. Any sharing is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and now let's see this cardboard piano in action.